under the topic of state management techniques today i am going to discuss about cookies a cookie cannot be used to share values among multiple web pages cookies will be created as a text file in the temporary internet file folders on the client system when compared with query string the advantage of cookies is they do not display the values on the address bar or the browser url also cookies are allowed among multiple web pages it will be live among multiple pages not only between one page to another it means we can access data stored in cookies using any other page now let's see how to implement a cookie When we implement an cookie, first we have to assign values to cookie, then assign the cookie object to response. Then third step is get the value for the cookie. Now let's see the coding part. First I am going to create a web form inside our project. I will name it as cookie. inside our cookie file i am creating a new table in order to create a login page i am adding a table row and one table data here enter your name We want another table data. Here I am adding a text box. I will change the ID as txt name. Then we need one table row. Inside that I will need table data. Here I am adding a button. Rename it as button submit. Name is submit. Now we want another web form to display our data. I'll name it as display. Here we want a label. I'll rename it as label name. Remove the text part. Now go to your design part. I will make the button call span equal to align equal center. Now this is what we want. Now double click on submit button in order to take the click event. Here we write our code. String name equal txt name dot text. Then HTTP cookie ck equal new HTTP cookie. Here we pass name and the value. Name is username. Then string value. Now let's write the response part. Response. Cookies dot add ck. Now response is redirected to display dot aspx page. Let's write the code. Response redirect display. 
is px. Now go inside display.aspx. Click on design tab. Right click and view code. Here under the page load we have to write our C sharp code. String name equal request cookies inside the square brackets at the inverted commas and here username dot value now label name dot text equal or should we display this hello then pass the name this username comes from here let's run and see the output Let's try an example. Click on submit button. Hello Kumari. The data we entered into the previous page has passed to display.aspx. Here see, we are not getting anything within our address bar or the URL. Let's discuss some disadvantages of cookies. They are in the form of files in the temporary internet file folder in our system. They are physically stored and anybody can take this information. Anyone can delete or modify our cookies. In order to overcome limitations in cookies, sessions have been implemented. On my next video, I will discuss about sessions. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.